Well, the company has a very long history. It began in 1886 with an enterprising gentleman by the name of George Henry Varley. And George came to Newcastle from Sydney to be involved in steamships, but it quickly evolved into something far more diverse. We moved into defence and aerospace work, and then into special vehicles work, and probably more latterly into electric vehicles, elevating work platforms, and now we're moving slowly into more of an electronics environment in aerospace. In terms of developing product, that's a very big part of this business. So we have quite a significant technical engineering team across the company, uh, both here and overseas. And more often than not, the work that we win is a clean sheet of paper. We get a contract from somebody and we have to develop the product that's provided. We do that quite happily and proudly internally. And those skills then run across quite a range of subject matter from electrical, electronic to structural to general mechanical engineering. I guess on a local scene, we certainly make use of people like the university to help us in development of product in an R&D sense. And in terms of overseas, we have particularly our US partners who are taking us into the aerospace electronics environment. Key export side would ostensibly be the defence market. We are selling product particularly into the US through the Joint Strike Fighter program and into Indonesia with the power services environment. Globally we're around 1,000 people. Of that there are around about 700 here in Australia. I think diversity is the key to what we do. We have just a broad range of skills and product to provide our customer base. People come here and it's not just a job, it's really an involvement in a whole business that's been going for a long, long time. It certainly makes for a better place to work, I think, when you know that you've got a real connection to a family that is more than just a place to go to work and go home at the end of the day. We are very interested in knowing where the journey ahead might take us. Clearly manufacturing's having a lot of change, so we need to evolve the business to another place. For us, we're always learning, trying to evolve this business because we fully realise that if we don't change the business, the business will go away. And uh, after this many years, we're not gonna let that happen. <music>